So this is Alto session number 13, and uh, that's the second try for uh, Carl's uh, disk emulator here, so we can read the disk letter and, and, and write some new ones, which, which we can't do from the Alto unless it was connected to a network with a server. So here's the FPGA board, and the board next to it, now it's nice! So that's the level adapter, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And uh, and it has to drive quite a bit of current. Uh, right, right, right. Two hundred something crazy, like two hundred fifty milliamps or yeah, one hundred fifty to two. Uh, that's still crazy. Okay, so let, let's see. So, uh, so I've got uh, four buttons for simplicity here. Uh, I can seek. Uh, I can read a single sector, and this one is the one we're going to use to read the entire cartridge. Go for it. So ready for me to go? There we go. And then I should see the disk there. There you go. So it's reading sector by sector. Hundred twenty-seven, hundred twenty-eight. It should be in a hundred something, yeah. So it's guaranteed to work or our money refunded. <laughs> so we just uh, wrote a new disk using Carl's tool, which has never been tested. <laughs> and we'll see if we can boot off the disk. If we can, that's significant. Well, we I didn't even hear a seek. Yeah, I heard it, but it didn't like it. It, it only did one seek or something. Right, right, right. Oh. And you stuck oh. one in here and it never made it work. Yeah, so... Um, it's spinning up. Uh, it's interesting. Okay, you're ready to boot, so... Uh, yeah, go ahead. So, with any luck, you will see the system actually Okay, we'll see it come up. You hear anything happen? Nope. Not booting. Well, okay. there it is. Not happy. That, that does not it's, look good. Uh, yeah, it looks... So we're back on the logic analyzer here, trying to uh, figure out what the Alto uh, cannot read the uh, disk that uh, Carl wrote with his tool. And apparently the tool thinks it reads something and the Alto thinks it reads something else. So back to the basics here. We have to relearn how to use the logic analyzer to read microcode. Looks like we're getting nothing on the input. So Ken is trying to make his Ethernet network contraption work and we have been struggling with both the Ethernet and the uh, the disk emulator contraptions for a couple of sessions and it, this goes out to show that it's one thing to repair something that others have engineered and it's another step of difficulty to engineer your own stuff particularly when we have sketchy information about what it should do Oof. that doesn't look too good why, why am i getting why do i have a ghost trace here uh, let me look at it one second they go 144 nanoseconds. This one is good. You said 17 and 17. Yeah. This one is good. Okay, one pulse is good. 
140. That pulse is okay. And then it and switches to having wide troughs and narrow peaks. So that's and then so it's seven, well, 72, so that's, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. And then, um, yeah, something, something is clearly not good there. So if it's half, it's not that bad. It's just you use an error by a factor of two, that's understandable. And the other one is 72. So I would say your long pulse is 72 is about right, and your short one is half of what it should be. Hmm. Well, that this gives me some, some clues. So what do you so, have over here? So over, over here I'm running FTP, wow. which so is a project which is different from the standard the um, FTP. Uh -huh. um, so here oh, we can so run an FTP works. server. Oh, so like maybe right like right here, quiet on the set. Um, so we can run an FTP server. We can run an FTP user client, or we can tell it directly to a computer. And so, so there's a standard FTP program they have. So, um, so it's it's like common Unix FTP, except it's different protocols underneath. Oh, okay. But it is a file transfer pro protocol. Okay. No so right, right. And, and you were able to catch it. the packets on the other I, side? I cut some packets. So I have the, the raw bytes. Um, it's giving me bad checksum errors, which could be something wrong with my algorithm, or it could be, which would be worse, a, a hardware you know, corruption. So go for it. You were, you were saying this. So, this so to, to receive the data, I'm using the microcontroller on the Beagle Bone to record the raw timings between um, pulse transitions. And so these are the numbers you see here um, normally 170 and 340 nanoseconds. Um, I then convert the Manchester encoded data into a stream of bits. I then convert the bits into bytes, um, take the checksum of the bytes. So the bits are the little zero and ones, and yeah. then the bytes are the line beneath it. Yeah, the right. hex values here. Right. Um, but I'm running into problems with either getting a bad bit along the way or a checksum error. So, so that's so the, what the is going wrong. bad bit sequence says there? Yeah. So it, so that that's when you have a checksum error? So, there's, so with the Manchester encoding, um, a, a logical bit is encoded as a, either a zero followed by a one or a one followed by a zero. Okay. So if I get something that doesn't match that sequence, then I know something has gone wrong. Okay. Um, and if it gets through that, then it goes to the checksum stage where it does a CRC16 checksum and compares what it gets with what came from the Ethernet, and that doesn't match. Okay. So and you've got the seed in there. Yeah. So it's your your, dec so, your decoding algorithm it needs work. So, it, so mo most likely there's a a marginal timing somewhere along the way. Mm -hmm. So it gets one instead of a zero, and then everything yeah. falls apart. Uh -huh. It's not more challenged with trying to get the uh, eagle bone to look at the raw data. Do, do we yeah. do we need to capture the actual data on the scope so you know what you're getting? Or um, well, with the raw timings, it should. Oh, you should have enough. It should okay. be enough, in, unless something is going wrong okay. on the microcontroller side. And did it work? No. <laughs> so we're we're getting some data from the Alto over the Ethernet um, into my into my computer, um, but it's getting checksum errors. So there's apparently something going wrong in the decoding. Yeah, but you get a packets, right? Yeah. So, it's, it's so I, I, I call that working already. <laughs> you're, you're pretty harsh on yourself. Well, then my disk works too. <laughs> yeah, almost. Sounds like a marketeer here. No, well, we, we're at, at one point, this is the first time we're transmitting so packets, actually. So, so there's no smoke coming out. So in that sense, it's working yeah. fine. Okay.